Cone Valley. Welcome to uh, this week's uh, episode of the Cone Valley Broadcast. I'm Jake Launder, principal at Hillsdale Middle School. And I'm Monica Disicone, a music and life skills teacher at uh, Hillsdale Middle School. Yeah, and so we're excited to talk to you guys about a couple different events that have taken place over the past few weeks, um, starting with our Ace Day celebration. That happened on February 22nd. It's where we as a district um, got to celebrate our classified staff. We know they do an amazing job, so we took some time out to make sure that we recognize them for all the work they put in. So here's a video explaining what happened on Ace Day. Today was all about showcasing our classified staff. Everything we do is for the kids. Our custodians, our librarians, our office managers, our office staff, our special education classroom assistants, our noon duty aides, and of course, our EDP. Much of the time that she spends here is just engaging with kids and loving on them. She treats these kids like they're her own kids, her own family. Even though Stephanie's title is office manager, it really should be professional multitasker. The work you guys do every day with kids and in support of what we do here at the site is absolutely amazing and we could not do it without you. I truly applaud our bus drivers. They are the first faces our students see each day when they start school. They have to love children. The SICAs really along with uh, all of our classified staff are the glue. They're what makes school happen. They are so critically important to everything we do at school. They really do their best every single day to serve our students. I can't keep up with her. Wasn't that awesome? We um, could not do what we do here at the district without the great um, classified staff that we have. Yes, I, I, I second that uh, immensely. Um, the next thing that happened was our Hillsdale band got the opportunity to play at the goals game. Yeah, so um, on February tw 23rd, Saturday, we took members from our symphonic band and our concert band over to the Pachinga Arena, and they got to go behind the scenes onto the ice. We did some practice, and then they actually got to play the national anthem um, on the Cajon Valley night at the goals game. Uh, I will say it was greatly um, a pleasure to be able to just represent the district yeah. and to showcase some of the amazing talent that the kids have here. Yeah, it, it was awesome. And thank you for everyone that did come out yes. from the district. It was awesome for everyone's support and to have a fun night with everyone. And, mm -hmm. you know, congratulations to our kids. We have some amazing, talented kids here. And so Definitely. here's a snapshot of what it looked like at the goals game. Next up, we had some visitors from uh, Kurdistan that came out and they went to Anza Elementary School. Um, totally awesome to be able to show the world what it is that we're doing at Cajon Valley, all the different programs that we have going on. And I know that it was something very educational for them. So here's a video about what happened at Anza. The amazing things that teachers and students are doing here in Cajon Valley is spreading quickly around the world. We were so excited today to have education delegates from Kurdistan come to Anza Elementary School to learn about the world of work and family and community engagement. And we were able to take them through classrooms to show what we do curricularly, as well as what we do for our parents. Going into classrooms and seeing the engagement and the excitement of students as modern curriculum and everyday subjects were being integrated, world of work, robotics, gardening, cooking. It was incredible integration of everything that ANSA and the Cajon Valley District does so well. We had the opportunity to showcase here at ANSA what is happening in all of our classrooms throughout Cajon Valley. Every day we see the world of work and we see family and community engagement, but to watch people come in from another country like Kurdistan, to see the world of work through their eyes and to see family and community engagement through their eyes, it was inspiring. I mean, they were passionate, they were excited about the potential of what they could do for their country as well as what we're doing for ours. Away she can just surprise me, kid Amro, away program computer programming. Katokana, criminal lot of mana, and he is programming that. Yari Higla Prozakan, away Kakadim Bekawa, Hadla Saratawa, Mdalan, Tabandara, the Hindu Penka, Butuan, Beko, Karbukanu, Haruha, Ledaha, Tubo Bazari, Kar Amada Bakrin. 
we are so excited to stay in contact with them so that we can see if these seeds that we've planted with them today take root in Kurdistan and what we're doing in Cajon Valley is spread across the world. It was a great time to just be able to build relationships uh, with the people that visited and to be able to learn from the different strengths of the different way that the cultures approach education. Right, right, right. You know, speaking of strengths, um, we had our TEDx event at mm -hmm. Petco Park. Yes. Um, that was on March 2nd in the rain and we got to watch all of our students from around the district um, talk about their strengths, talk about the things that are making an impact in mm -hmm. their lives. And we had two of our students from Hillsdale out there um, that did a fantastic job, by the way. Sorry that I'm a little biased, uh, but here's a video <laughs> of what that day looked like. San Diego Science and Engineering Festival with TEDx Kids at El Cajon. We have 52 kids on the TEDx stage that are giving these awesome TED Talks and they have stories to tell. Our kids have so many important things that they want to talk about and it's a great way to get them to share their great ideas with others. They're out here in the rain, they're out here in the wind, and they're sharing their stories. One student or one talk from each site will be selected to move on to our TEDx Kids at El Cajon event on April 6th, Greenfield Middle School, where we'll have 25 of these speakers coming to do TED Talks on the TED stage. They are so courageous to get up here and talk in front of strangers, friends, and family. I am so proud of our Cajon Valley kids and all the work that I have put into this and the staff that has just made this an amazing event. such an amazing event just to see the creativity that the students brought to the stage, the passion they had, and all the ideas they shared. Right, right. And we hope to see everyone um, on April 6th out at Greenfield Middle School for our TEDx event where we can showcase all of the students from around our district and the amazing work that we're doing. So thank you, Colin Valley. Everyone have a great day. The world is yours? I think they mean me. Having ideas about how to make our future better is great. Sharing those ideas with others is even better. I have some ideas about the importance of having friends and being a friend. I'll be sharing those ideas with a few hundred of my closest friends at TEDx Kids El Cajon on Saturday, April 6th. There is so much to see and do and learn at TEDx Kids El Cajon. You will be impressed. You will be inspired. So don't worry about the future. We got this. The world is ours.